Okay, time to have a look at a video Walkman. This is the Sony GV200B, the PAL CCAN version, which uh, that's pretty good. I am in a PAL country, not that that's terribly relevant anymore. But uh, a lot of the old equipment around me is PAL, so brightness, contrast, we've got camera input, composite video and audio in and out. Okay, on the top here are the timer controls, control S, I guess that's some sort of remote system, why you would need a remote on this I don't know. Okay, so the screen does lift up for viewing and it does reveal some more controls on the back. So we've got the input select color system, TV system, seek. That's interesting. Okay. On the back of the screen we have a color adjust and because it's not NTSC we don't have the hue adjustment. Okay. Now this unit can only be powered from a battery that fits into there. Some models do have external power in a socket that's in there. This doesn't have it, so it can only run off a battery, which is a little bit annoying because the only battery I have is this one here, and this is completely dead. So, for testing, we're going to hook up some external power to the battery inputs and have a look at it. Okay, let's give it 6 volts and power up. And that's not too happy. Right, so it does eject, but doesn't. Oh no, there we go. We've got. Uh, We've got a white screen, and then off again. Try that again, white screen, and off again. So it doesn't want to stay powered up. So I've got a video eight tape for testing. Power up. and off again. Okay, so this unit will power up briefly only. Let's see if we can get it to eject that tape. Okay, so since it doesn't want to stay turned on, it's time to take it apart and have a look. So these units start with the front plate. I've had a peek at the service manual. So the disassembly does begin with this top section. Like that. Now have a look at that. Circuit boards location. Okay, that top's starting to come off now. But what we will do is just have a peek, and we've got a ribbon cable going to the screen, and then it looks like something we can pull on to release that ribbon cable right here. Okay, so that's disconnected. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, we seem to have a connector here, which is not used for anything. Oh yeah, there's one there as well. OK, 
Okay, we're going to try powering up without the screen attached. We get a power light and then it flashes and turns off. We'll do the eject. We can see the head spins up. And that's about it. Okay, ribbon cable disconnected. So that board has all screws removed. So we have the input RF block and some controls. That looks like it could be the amplifier block for the video heads. With some shielding from this main board. See a couple of capacitors in here which are going to have to be checked because they're, they're likely to be the problem. Okay so there's the battery input board. Let's lift that out and have a look. We're going to see how much further we can take this apart. Seems like this is pretty loose. Uh, disconnect the ribbon cable and have a look at that. There's a lot of capacitors there. Come on, there we go. Hmm. There's our delay line. Have a peek under here. Okay, let's have a look at this board here as well. And We've got that lifting away. There we go, have a look at that. We've got a main board, capacitors. There's the mechanism. That's looking pretty good. So. So looking at this one here, got a bit of gunk on that one here. It looks like that capacitor may have leaked. First with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. Okay, so that cleaning, which was pretty gentle, has taken that capacitor off the board pretty easily. I've applied some CRC 2-26 after cleaning off the crap. This will just help to protect some of the, the board and the metals from some of that electrolytic capacitor leak. We still have two more connectors. Ah, oh, bugger. I'll have to put that clip back in. It's not broken but it has come out. So let's get the mechanism out of the way. We know this mechanism is good. These are rock solid, these.
Right, I've replaced the uh, bad capacitors in this and really you're meant to replace all of them because if some of them are bad then all of them are eventually going to be bad. Uh, I can't be bothered right now, I just want to test it and see how this goes. Okay, let's test it. Alright, this is a good moment to have a close up look at the mechanism. Okay, power it up. Alright, here's the key controls. Fortunately, they're all labelled. Let's try ejectors there. Okay, let's get a tape in. Okay, let's see what we can do about a bit of a close-up. Alright, well that will get this angle for, for now. I've got play. Let's get you into your chassis. Okay, let's get the screen plugged in and do a test. Okay, we're all back together. So I'll get the strap back on. And for the test, I'm going to make a separate video showing the unit all working. And that's it. We're done for now.